advice, useful tips on finding true love in the new millennium from AttractATrueLoveSecrets.com Finding love in this day and age is becoming harder and harder. Ask any single, and they will tell you that the stresses and demands of work mean they have little spare time to spend on the social circuit. It is hard enough finding time for ourselves these days, let alone fitting in time to meet new people. In fact, a lot of couples don't realize just how hard it is to meet new friends. These days we live such hectic and individualized lives that the possibility of connecting with that someone special is becoming more and more remote. And let us face it, the usual haunts, like pubs and clubs are generally the last place you can really talk and get to know someone. Are you really likely to meet that magical woman of your dreams during happy hour at the local watering hole? Or is it realistic that you will run into that unique, caring man you hope to meet on the dance floor of a sweaty, noisy nightclub? The truth is that many of the usual encounters these days between men and women may well lead to sex, but they rarely lead to meaningful, long-term relationship where the couple have similar interests, core values, and dreams. It is frustrating, demoralizing, and can cause people to throw their hands up in despair. In actual fact, you don't have to give up on love, because there are plenty of novel and less known ways of meeting people that you may not have thought about before. Here are a few ideas for finding that special person you ll want to share your life with. Tip number one, how do I meet someone special? Meeting a woman or man that is attractive to you, and on your wavelength is probably the hardest part, of finding new love. The old adage there are plenty of fish in the sea might be true, but the trick is finding new ways, to go fishing successfully. Innovative ways of meeting potential new love mates are the key. When it comes to meeting someone, who is similar to you, try writing a list of the past time and hobbies that interest you, and then go from there. For example, if you are an art lover, your best bet of meeting a person who shares your passion for art is by joining a club at the local art gallery or by attending new exhibitions and openings. You will be surprised at how many people you will meet and the faces that will soon become familiar over time. By just talking about your favorite topic you will soon make plenty of connections with fascinating members of the opposite sex. The same applies if you are a sports buff or outdoors lover. Just by joining clubs, associations, or engaging in activities where there will be people with similar interests as yourself, you will naturally increase your chances of meeting someone who shares the same passions and drives as you. This principle is clearly a winner, as hundreds of dating services have based the concept of matching singles together on this concept alone. Tip number two, asking that special someone out on a date once you have found someone who you like and are attracted to. Don't be shy about making the first move. Whether you are a man or a woman, asking your new friend out on a date is imperative because you need to show your interest for the other party to reciprocate. The dating experts at AttractATrueLoveSecrets.com suggest it as hard asking someone out on a date because we all fear rejection. That said, people are naturally captivated by those among us that are confident and self-assured. So before you ask that special person out on a date, try reciting some internal mantras to yourself. They will help bolster your confidence and raise your self-esteem. Say to yourself over and over, I am an attractive, special and unique person. I am fascinating and fun to be with. I am worthy of love. By believing in your own love ability, others will too. Tip number three, making that first date a success once you have gotten the thumbs up from your new friend. The next step is going on the first date. Studies show that the first date is a really critical time it is when you and date get to know one another, and determine whether you want to take your friendship to the next level. Making an impression on a first date is easy when you remember these tips. Firstly, make sure you make regular eye contact with your date. Eye contact is an important part of flirting. 
In fact, research has shown that eye contact reveals a lot about honesty, openness, and levels of interest. If you don't make enough eye contact your date may see you as shifty, untrustworthy, or lacking in interest. On the contrary too much eye contact can be interpreted as overly intense, pushy or downright creepy. Other tips to remember are to plan your evening well. Ask your date what food he or she likes so that you can take them to a restaurant they will enjoy. Making sure you are dressed appropriately is also imperative. Over or underdressing can be embarrassing for both people. For example, if you are going to a baseball game, don't he drag out your string of pearls and high heels. On the other hand, if you are going to the opera, jeans and trainers are clearly an oh no thinking about the details of your evening lets you anticipate all eventualities, so you will be prepared, comfortable and relaxed. It is true that finding new love in this modern age is a challenge, but you can increase your chances of finding making new friends, or perhaps finding your soulmate by thinking more seriously about where you might meet like-minded people in the first place, as well as carefully planning your first date if you want your man or woman to desire you like no other, get my forbidden blueprints at attractatrulovesecrets.com. Sign up for your free video tutorials and free guides, where I'll reveal to you what exactly is the true meaning of love and how you can find and keep the love you have found. Your life will never empty or lonely ever again once you started using my proven strategies and tips. Read the amazing success stories from regular folks just like yourself at attractatrulovesecrets.com.